Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Footies, batch number two. We are still in the middle of footies. Best of packs. Uh, set number two is out right now. We need to look at the market for this week. I'm going to be honest, this is probably one of the last market outlook SBCs that you're going to see from me uh, for the rest of this FIFA. I mean, we'll do some periodic market videos here and there depending on what comes out, depending on what stuff happens. But for me, I haven't been trading for a long time. And if you're still trading, um, I'm not going to tell you to stop. But I mean, this is kind of like the end of the game. If you don't have what you've been what you've been grinding for in FIFA so far, I know everybody's situation is different. Um, but now is the time of the game just to have fun. Uh, and sometimes by having fun, that means actually putting down the game. Uh, that is exactly what I did today. I am not finishing my week in the games. I'm on like eight wins right now, and it is just not worth it for me to be playing this game um, in in this period of time, almost the end of July, almost August. We're going to be getting information about FIFA 20. Um, I'll still be on FIFA 19, um, but honestly, I don't even have the urge to do upgrade packs right now, which is, you know, it sucks. When they put batch three out, hopefully we get batch three next week, and they put major top tier team of the season cards back in packs that'll probably ignite the fire a little bit but i have five and a half million coins i have plenty of coins where i can go out and do things i have an end game team that i'm happy with um i'm going through an icon sbc with maldini i'm gonna put, have him as a center back in my t starting team and i will be basically finished with my team um i'll still do sbcs and stuff but um yeah i would just tell you guys like just uh whatever you want to do with the game whether it's just have fun playing weekend league trying to get good reds doing upgrade packs crafting icon sbcs because high rateds are so cheap um or or whatever it is if that's even just doing weekly objectives and then getting off the game like by all means do whatever you need to do um because this is like the rest time for fifa i guess as well you know we've been grinding all year on fifa um since september of last year we've been grinding this game and a lot of people have dropped off if you're still hanging on. Uh, kudos to you, by the way. But I think it is time for me, at least, to just take a step back and uh, realize what am I actually doing on this game. So with that being said, let's look at the market for this week. Because for you guys out there that are still crafting Icon SBCs, like myself, um, we have some incredibly cheap cards out there on the market right now. You know, they're still inflated a little bit for the 81s, the 82s. With those Team of the Week SBCs being out, um, the 84s as well, but the 85s, the 86s, basically everything that's an 85 rated on up. Um, it is a fantastic crafting time right now. We have the SBCs out, the upgrade SBCs only for, um, you know, until Monday at 6 p.m. UK. And then these go away, uh, which I kind of find interesting, um, but... I'm curious to see what happens after this, if they're gonna release a different type of upgrade or if they're gonna wait until batch three to release any of these upgrades. Um, but you're probably gonna see some of the higher rated gold cards back in this range kinda of start to creep back up because we're not gonna have as much supply from these uh, upgrade SBCs, which a lot of people are getting high rated from to do SBCs in. So we're probably gonna see some of these cards kinda of tick back up in price throughout the week. If you wanna invest in some cards, Honestly, I would go with the gold card versions. Um, some of these players that are actually here right now, some of them might be out of packs. I haven't done the actual math and looked and seen which gold cards are out of packs. Um, but it's probably a decent time for a club stock, 85 rated and above. Not a lot of these SBCs that they've been putting out have been 85 and above, but there's still people on this game that are continuing to do icon SBCs. So if that's something that you're intrigued with, something that you might want to do, um, Throw a couple, throw a couple gold, do, do a club stock, you know, like this Church Stegen at 22,000 coins uh, for an 89 rated card is just outrageously cheap. All of these high rated golds are so low because of the special cards that are dropping and these special cards are really low now as well just because they're very attainable through upgrade packs. So I wanted to mention that to you guys. If you're going to do an Icon SBC, even if you're not entirely done yet, like I'm not entirely done with Maldini. I'm probably going to set up a, a last few set of uh, upgrade packs and then I need to actually probably stock some of my club with some of these higher rated golds um, that are out here on the game because I need to be able to conf uh, complete that SBC for the very cheap price that it is now and uh, maybe even do some of the inform upgrade SBCs to get some informs 
as well because uh, informs are pretty crucial for an SPC like Maldini. But I do see some of the SPC fodder rising a little bit into this week just because of the fact that this 81 to 86 SPC is going to be gone and both of these are going to be gone because a lot of people are getting high rated from this, whether it be high rated special cards or high rated golds in general. They're very easy to get from those SBCs. I think those will tick up throughout the week because we're going to get more SBCs. Um, I think a lot of people are still thinking we're going to get a flashback Zlatan back in packs. We have Denny Alves in packs right now. Um, so maybe they will wait until this Denny Alves goes away and they might throw Zlatan in. Um, we got the Crouch SBC. I mean, we've had a lot of really solid SBCs throughout the footies promo with the re-release. So I'm excited to see what else they bring out. Um, and it, all it would take is for them to drop a VVD player of the year, that they redropped that SBC um, and made it a lot cheaper. It was about a million coins when it came out. And right now with the way high rated gold prices are, if they cut that cost in half and make it 500K, I would do that SBC. I think a lot of people would do that SBC as well. So that's another possible SBC, Hazard Player of the Month. Um, SBC as well. I'm, I'm just thinking about some things we could see this week. We are going to see some more SBCs. Um, and again, I want to kind of mention these SBCs that are going away because this is where like all the hype is right now in FIFA. The weekly objectives, we have some couple players there I want to look at and look over. You guys already know about those. But this is where all the hype in FIFA is right now. Like This is literally what you do on FIFA. You, you come on, you play some weekend league, and you're doing upgrade packs. And that's why it kind of feels dead to me. I hate saying dead. But it just feels I don't have the passion or the want to grind the game right now as much, even with all this stuff in packs, just because the best of the best isn't in packs. If those team of the season cards were in packs, I would be going after these packs a lot more. And I've already done a lot of these upgrades, and they've somewhat paid out. They've helped me do Maldini, but it hasn't been anything super spectacular. So hopefully this week we get some better SBCs, just get something to kind of refresh and to get us want to play this game. I do think that I will go out and get some of these daily objectives. I do think I will get the Alessandrini just for fun because it's very easy to win three squad battles matches using 11 MLS players. That's an easy one. A lot of people like this Kempembe card because if you have Lala or if you have Denny Alves, he is a strong link to either of those cards. Very popular center back in the game. So I think a lot of people are doing uh, this SBC as, or this weekly objective as well. So uh, those that's something to do throughout the week. Uh, but I'm honestly, I'm just kind of curious to see what they put out for the rest of this week uh, in packs. And I wanted to look at one last thing, or excuse me, not about packs, about SBCs. I wanted to look at one last thing, and I've had some people asking me about when do I need to buy cards that are in set two, batch two, when is the best time to buy those cards? So I wanted to look at a couple guys from batch number one that had market movements after they went um, out of packs. Uh, this Fabinho was one of them. So his Champions League wrote to the final card. You see his lowest point was on Thursday, the first week he was in packs. So he went into packs on this Wednesday. The first week on Thursday, Weekend League Rewards Day, he went to 270. There was a Weekend League sell-off, he went to 267. And then right as he went out of packs, he went shooting back up to 330,000 coins. Uh, Dominic and Sanchez is another one of those. Wednesday, Thursday before rewards, 118k. You see him... Oh, two weeks later, or a week later, he's 170k on Friday. So now, the one thing that I have a problem with, I'm not going to go out and tell you guys to go invest in some of these like FFS cards. Obviously, I looked at Premier League cards right there, maybe like an Alexander Arnold, since there's a huge gap between his team of the season card and this FFS. Uh, 77k on PS4, crazy, crazy low prices for some of these cards. This could be a card. You see, he's been 85 on Xbox. If you see this card at like 60,000 coins, you know that that is just way too cheap. Um, even if he is in packs a little bit longer, probably a lot of people have the Walker card right now. But people that are looking for budget teams in this game, they're going to look at this Alexander Arnold. Remember that he was just going for like 200, 300,000 coins. And they're going to go pick him up. If, they're, if you're a budget guy in this game, this is a perfect card. Um, so I think this could be a card that maybe rises up. But again, it looks like from the past set of cards, the uh, first Wednesday and Thursday, so this coming Wednesday and Thursday is the really low point for those cards. So we're looking at FFS, obviously. We're looking at headliners. Maybe you want to get a headliner Pogba on your team. 800K, 848K right now, which is very, very cheap. 88 right back Lala is 32K. Are you serious? Wow. 
That is an ultimate drop off. <laughs> that is crazy, dude. That is crazy, man. Pogba still holds some value because he's Pogba. Uh, he doesn't have a team of the season. Um, but, you know, if you're looking to buy some of these cards that you think are going to rebound out of packs, definitely focus on the Premier League. Um, this Rashford card's in packs right now, 163k. That could be one that maybe rises a little bit out of packs. I wouldn't say this is an investment opportunity because with Batch 3 coming up, I think they're going to do the best of. Um, basically, they're going to do the best of that we know last year. So they're going to put the best version of every card of the game in packs. I honestly think that's what they're going to do for set number 3. If they don't, I'll probably be a little bit disappointed. But um, even then... Let's say you have a person like this Trent Alexander-Arnold card. If this Team of the Season card goes back into packs, he probably will be 500k by the time Batch 3 comes around again. Uh, you know, this card still being at 60, 70k if you can get it at that price range. Even if that Tots card drops down to 400 or 350k, this card should easily rebound from 60 to 100 because this card would not be in packs at that point. And you have to kind of think about it this way. If they do best of Tots and put the best version of each player, excluding team of the year, back into packs for batch number three, this card won't be in packs. Again, if you're a budget guy in this game, there's gonna be people that are gonna come onto the game for that, especially if they do upgrade packs and they, they promo it. Um, you're gonna see some people come back onto the game, people that might not have a lot of coins. They can afford a 60K right back, uh, or maybe an 86K Gabriel Jesus, because I think yeah, he's got an 88 rated um, Man of the Mash card, so that's a bit interesting. But that's going to be kind of present maybe an interesting little investment opportunity in itself or just a possibility for you to buy that card for your team. If you want this card for your team, I mean, this week is probably the time to get him because he's not going to be in packs for the rest of the year unless they do something else other than like best of that we just talked about. If they don't throw Premier League tots back into packs, which would be a huge disgrace in my opinion, just do it. It's July, it's August by the time batch three is going to be out. Um, so... I hope you're tracking along with me on that one. If you want more information about what I'm thinking here, if you want me to explain that better with like the batch, the batch three, and what that could look like, um, say something in the comments down below, and I will talk more about that in an upcoming video as we get closer to batch three. So, but again, uh, yeah, this is just the time of FIFA where a lot of times you don't entirely know what to do, and that's kind of at the point where I'm at right now. I know I can play pro clubs. I know I can do. Um, you know, fun stuff on the game with upgrade packs and stuff like that, but especially anything that involves gameplay right now for me is just uh, no thanks. Uh, really, it's just I, I don't want to play the game. I don't feel like grinding this game. I'm not going to stop creating videos and content because FIFA 20 is right around the corner. We're starting to get a lot of information about FIFA 20, and that's going to bring, ultimately, that's going to bring people back to FIFA 19 when they start seeing tweets, they start seeing YouTube videos about FIFA 20, People, that's going to bring a population of players back to FIFA 19 so that they can, you know, maybe get ready for FIFA 20 or, oh, hey, yeah, FIFA, I need to go play that game. You know, it's going to just get people thinking about FIFA and that could possibly get them back on FIFA 19. So I don't think that'll affect the market too much, um, but it is something to think about. Uh, and we're going to start doing FIFA 20 videos here in the next, uh, this week as well. You'll probably see one or two of those, depending on what type of stuff we do get from EA Sports on their Twitter, um, releases or live streams they may have about FIFA 20. You'll definitely see me um, start to talk about some of those things in YouTube videos with stuff that they release. I thought about doing a video on the, um, the gameplay fixes and stuff that they put out, but I am not a gameplay guy, so I kind of shied away from that. But we're going to get some info on Ultimate Team. Um, and other modes of the game, so I might venture into maybe doing a couple videos on that type of stuff. But other than that, boys, hopefully you guys are rocking your endgame teams. I am very happy with this team. I enjoy it. I just don't enjoy playing this game. I'm going to be brutally honest. Right now, especially, I'm especially feeling it after playing Weekend League, going from 4-1, and one, getting to 7-3, and three, and now I'm like 8-5 and five or 8-6. and six. I've just been really bad gameplay today on Sunday night, but you guys don't need to hear about that. That doesn't matter. Um, we're looking ahead to this next week of FIFA Ultimate Team. Uh, this is a Market Outlook video, but I talked about a lot of other stuff. Um, not just a usual Market Outlook. This is like a heart-to-heart, -heart, you know?
about FIFA, about the state of it, in my opinion. We're all coming from different places, and I respect that. Um, but that's another thing I'd be curious about. Whatever you're doing in FIFA right now, if you're watching this because you're still trading, if you're just doing upgrade packs, or if you just love football and you're still finding yourself on the game of FIFA, let me know down below with that as well. What's keeping you on FIFA right now? Because, uh, yeah, I'm always curious to hear what you guys are doing on FIFA. So if you enjoyed this video, again, smash a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions um, or want to reply to any of the previous questions that I had for you guys. Uh, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.